Hi, I'm Allie Gunn, and this is Transformative, the talk show. So panelists, I don't know how you guys feel about passing, but that is a very big issue to me. And I'm very interested in knowing how you guys feel about it. Personally, um, growing up in my generation, passing was one of the main goals. When being a transsexual woman, you wanted to assimilate into society. Go stealth, as some people call it. Um, and it's something that I still maintain, and I definitely like to maintain. I know with the way things are going nowadays, it's kind of trending to not have all those constructs. But um, I'm definitely all about being passable, as some call it. Um, how do you guys feel about that? I totally agree. Like, um, I think just even from a safety standpoint, um, just like you can go through your daily life without like the constant scrutiny and even just getting weird looks from people. If I feel like if you pass, I think it'll just make your life that much easier. And um, I don't know about other girls, but for a lot of girls that I know, um, passing is kind of like a measure of like how well you've definitely gone in your transition process. Like your so, rites yeah. of passage. Yeah, like a badge almost. I yeah, get what you're absolutely. saying. I agree. I think I think it is, especially in certain neighborhoods that you grow up in, especially. You know, from um, poverty, urban neighborhoods where it's gang related, you know, you are not um, privileged to have people not agree and still treat you with a little bit of respect. You know, I grew up in a neighborhood where if you even, if they even feel or smell like you look like a boy, they're going to like beat you, you down. Yeah, yeah so that's very to, scary. Yeah. yeah, so for me to walk through my neighborhood in Inglewood and in other uh, Lawndale neighborhood, my gender is never challenged, and I almost feel like cocky. I almost feel like like okay. it's a good almost feeling. Me. It's a good <laughs> feeling because it lets you know that that these people do view you as a woman, which is I feel like one of the main goals that um and it and it also wanted. it also makes me feel like hi yeah very that and it's very right. validating yeah. What about you, Tara? How do you feel? I have kind of a weird opinion on that issue because mainly because I think that trans people focus too much on passing. And in a larger scale of things, society sees us all as just, you know, I use this word loosely, but, you know, in just terms of LGBT, LGBT community, they just see us all as fags to me. You know what I'm saying so no matter if you're, you know, extremely passable or if you're, you know, campy and, you know, you have a lot of plastic surgery, they still put us in the same category. That's how I feel. Well, but I, I feel so, like so, that so I think passing is for us more than this for society. Now, it aids us in our personal life as far as jobs and our day-to-day -day life. But I mean, as far right. as the larger scale, they still see us as all That's the true, same. But let me challenge you on this. What, 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 was, what, was, what is your all-around purpose of transitioning? Is your transitioning, are you transitioning to appease other people or are you transitioning to appease yourself? Because it doesn't make a difference if, um, if society looks at you a certain way. I feel like it's how you present yourself to the world. Correct. If you present yourself like a lady, they're going to treat how, you like yeah, a lady. Yeah, that's what I was meaning. No matter if you are, if you have an extreme look or if you're passive, if you present yourself like well, a woman. Well, sometimes I feel like an extreme look, though, doesn't necessarily mean passable because I have a lot of girlfriends that have had a lot of surgery I mean, done. that's true, yes. That's that's and the top, and yeah. they get they get clocked and outed way more than I do because I have smaller breasts and a smaller frame and not, I haven't been um, surgically modified. It gets you more have. attention, I think, when, when you are- But is that good attention, I think, is the question. No, Sometimes because, I think that could be it, negative it can draw attention. people into you to start to Correct. make you feel, because it makes me feel uncomfortable to me personally when I get attention in public. It doesn't make me feel more attractive or more passive because people look at me and they, you That's know, interesting because I feel woman. the opposite way. Yeah, like when it, it I walk doesn't. into a room, I want everybody to look at me because I feel like that means I'm the prettiest girl there. So everybody's staring at me because I'm pretty. Not well, I know I'm pretty far I came. Yeah. So, you know, so it's question. not that I don't have that kind of thing. I know just, what you mean, but I don't yeah. have that. Same Let me just kind. ask this question. What, <laughs> this, <laughs> you know, opinion what does passable it. really mean? What is it? What, what does just it means blending? I mean, passable. Passable can mean passable can mean um you look like a biological woman. You look like you were born a woman and your gender is never challenged. Or it's possible just me. You're pretty. You look you look pretty, even though they know you're transgender. Uh, you're still pretty. I think you not know, being attractive is a matter of personal opinion, but it has nothing to do Correct. with being passive. Yes. Yes. Right. Can okay. you blend and make it through the day without someone questioning yeah. your gender? Yeah. The issue of how was you choose to present that, yourself. That term came like about that, during the, the times where LGBT people were sheltered so mm -hmm. you couldn't be out and and be accepted as gay lesbian or transgender 
So I feel like passable had more of a, a connotation uh, to assimilate into the society. Right. So, then, at what, so at one point, did you know you were passable? Um, I would say in my eyes, personally, I think I was fully like passable for what I would be comfortable with mm -hmm. about four years ago. And to me, that's when I can walk, I can, I work downtown, no makeup around a bunch of white women and I don't get questioned by anybody. And for me, it was in O'Hare Airport when I went into the men's restroom and I was like bomb, barred out. Like all the police officers was like, you cannot come here anymore. I'm going to report you. What were you, you know, doing in the men's restroom? Girl? Because I hadn't had my ID changed oh, yet. Okay. So I had boobs, long hair. So they reported me to you know, the people in the airport. So I'm just like, okay, you know. I thought they would have been excited, the ladies in the bathroom. Like, I mean, you know, it was it was really cute for now, a minute, but, you know. can I ask you, you know. something, though? Did you have, did you experience something prior to that that made you not want to, that made you feel that since your gender marker wasn't changed that you should be going to the men's washroom? Because if you Well, you know, like I, didn't female, wanna, I didn't want to rock any boats. Okay. I didn't want to rock any boats. So I felt like I just wanted to respect the fact that this is what the rules are. I didn't want any tension on me anyway. So I just did what was required for me to do, you know, to work. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. Yeah, and I think like, again, as I was mentioning earlier, like from a safety standpoint, if you are deemed as passable, I think you can safely go to a male or female restroom and not be having or experiencing the harassment and the scrutiny from people. Very true. So I think there is an advantage to passing in that respect. Very true. I agree. True. I agree. I mean, I think we've all experienced that at some point. Um, Have you ever had a situation where you think passing um, affected you negatively? Oh, yes. Yeah, I me. think sometime in the, because when I, that's a, a big issue when I first started, because I had, when I first came out, like, as far as transition, I was like melting myself back, trying to melt myself into the transit community. And because yes. they really didn't, I didn't have a lot of friends who transitioned when I presented myself, you know, around other trans women, they thought I was a woman. So they were kind of closed off to me. So when I'd be at, you know, LGBT events, you know, trying to network with trans women, they're like. <laughs> so Jamie, how's your take on the whole passable situation? What do you think about it? Well, you know, it's not really an issue for me um, well, now it's not an issue. I, it, it, when was it an issue? It was when I it, it first started transitioning. Um, right after I changed my name, I had not had any hormones or okay. anything like that. So right. I was, but since I changed my name, I was going to go ahead and, and, and live as a man. Yeah. But it was very weird because I kept getting called ma'am a lot. And I was like, Can and I it ask was, you how long did that take before you feel that people just were seeing you as a man and not getting your... Oh, I had to get facial hair for that. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, so it was a before couple of years. Before facial hair, you were... Before facial... Now? Yeah, before facial hair, I had a hard time passing. Before facial hair and the, the uh, mastectomy, I had a hard time. Thanks for tuning in to Transformative, the talk show.